What is up you guys, it is your boy Black Dot One here with this video. Today guys, I am going to be showing you how to turn this £5 ESP8266 Wi-Fi development board into a Wi-Fi deauthor, that's the correct term. Uh, before I get into it, please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel as it always helps with me. And um, please, if you guys can, try to donate to my PayPal link, which will always support my uh, videos and will help me get further in buying new products and showing them to you guys. Uh, so this is how it arrived. This specific board I had got from eBay. Um, I would leave the link down below. Um, I wasn't sponsored or anything, so it was with my own money I bought it. And this is the Wi-Fi development board, as you guys can see. Basically, this could connect to a bunch of things like Raspberry Pis and that stuff. Uh, as you guys can see, there's GPIO pins, so you guys can connect to the Arduinos, you know, programming. So in this video, I'm going to be particularly showing you guys how to make it into a Wi-Fi deauthor. But with this, the possibilities are endless. This is a Wi-Fi development board. You guys can make whatever you want with it. And yeah, so um, to get into this video, what you guys need is a laptop or a PC. And the next thing you guys will need is a high quality micro USB cable. So this one I, um, I got here is a Xiaomi one that I got with my power bank. I know this is a really high quality cable because I've tested it on many of my design devices and it works perfectly. And the ones with the cheaper ones is that it may corrupt your flashing to the board which will just destroy it so try to use a high quality one that you absolutely trust so like the ones that you get with your phones and yeah guys so uh, to start off all you need to do is connect your oh, development board to the micro usb port on it and connect the other side to the computer pc or laptop whatever you're going to use and yeah guys, um, I'll see you guys down there. So guys, all you guys now need to do is go down in the link description below and um, go into Space Hands page, um, the ESP8266 web page, and scroll down and go into releases. After you've actually gone into releases, we're gonna scroll down right until here and download the Deauthor one megabyte bin file so after you click that you should see the download popping up down here as done like that so the next thing you guys need to download is the node mcu flasher this is important so we can actually flash our node mcu with the Deauthor bin file so all you guys need to do is scroll down here click which windows uh, bit we are running so i'm on the 64 version click that click espflasher.exe and then you just click download and that will download right here and then the last thing you guys will need to download um if you're on windows 10 or windows 7 is it's just good to have downloaded is um the the drivers for your no MC to be recognized by the computer so I will recommend you guys going down because sometimes it doesn't work go down here Windows 10 Universal click this let that install open it with WinRAR I'm just gonna close that notification now we will need to um, extract all the files so it should automatically extract it so we're going to click the 64 uh, version click that click next and now it's done it's downloaded so guys after we've downloaded all the files drag and drop it onto your desktop and we'll begin from there so guys now we've got the two files downloaded all you guys now need to do is now connect to your node MCU and on your node MCU it should flash blue so once you plug it in you guys see it flash blue like for one second and it goes off so now all you guys need to do is you need to go into the flasher itself and it should come up with a com port if it doesn't come up with a com port there's something wrong or um, node MCU is not getting recognized 
or usually it should say combo 3 combo 2 whatever combo if you have this it's a good sign so now the next thing you need to do is go into the advanced tab go into flash speed and set it to 80 megahertz and set the SPR mode to GIO and we can leave the rest as it is and now guys now we need to go to the config and click the foot as you guys can see node MCU it recognizes it you need to now click the first gear icon and now we just need to select our the author bin file so now that's been selected all you guys need to do is click flash uh, depending on the speed this usually takes around a minute so um, a minute or so after that's installed you should um, right now you should just see your node MC flashing blue while it's actually um, flashing and yeah guys I'll be back when it is finished flashing so once guys your flash has complete it should come up with this green tick and it should say ready and after it's complete we'll head on to the setup now you can actually remove the drive like I did and now it is ready to go so once you've guys have flashed your ESP module 8266 development board we can go ahead and start using it so this does work on Android and iOS and in this case I am going to be using my iOS device but it, um, it does work with your Android as well so all you guys need to do is if you have an Android phone plug the USB in using an OTG cable on, um, into your phone but in this case I'm using an iPhone so I'll just need to use an external power bank so this is my Xiaomi power bank right now here and all that's going to do is let the camera focus you guys will see a flash as I plug it in so there we go as you guys can see that's our lighting blue we'll leave that to the side right there if it wants to there we go so you guys now we're going to head on to our browser and type in the uh oh before we do that guys we're going to head into our settings uh head into our wi-fi and guys you should see a network called pwned popping up so i'm just going to quickly forget that network right now just for the sake of it and it should show up for you guys there we go so once it shows up just click oh that's the wrong one click to, um, to connect and the password is going to be deauthor so that's the standard default password so i'm going to write that in deauthor click join give it a minute and as you guys can see it's connected so once it's been connected we're guys going to go head on to our browser and then type the IP address to connect to so that will be 192.168.1.4 no sorry 0.4.1 we'll show you that real quick there we go I'm going to hit go and guys you'll be greeted with this so you just read through this real quick this is just like a disclaimer and I've already read this and there we go now you've got that it's got um it's working so now I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi so uh, what we guys need to do so this has a whole bunch of um, attacks you guys can do so the first thing you'll need to do is select one um, SSID so one Wi-Fi connection you um, I wouldn't recommend you guys doing like selecting like spamming all of them because that would just crash it so I'm just gonna select one and that's gonna be my Wi-Fi do you use this responsibly I'm gonna click SSIDs and then from here you could basically spam whatever SSID you guys want so I'm gonna spam knit 
test there we go and we're gonna take type the number of SSIDs we want so in this case we're gonna type like we want seven of these you guys can do any and click add so once oh, once they've been added as you guys can see it shows up on the bottom and yeah so that's the SSIDs for attacks uh, this would be our dual section so um, we can basically temporarily basically stop Wi-Fi packets from reaching devices wirelessly so which that would mean it's not a Wi-Fi jammer guys Wi-Fi jammer is completely different uh, yeah basically will temporarily stop the uh, Wi-Fi connection or disrupt it basically so you need to keep this connected at all times if you want this to run so and yeah guys I've hoped you enjoyed this video on the, the node MCU Wi-Fi deal but uh, after everything has finished once you're using it all you guys need to do is just plug it out the power bank or power source and yeah guys that's it it's now done so yeah guys that's how you use it I hope you guys did enjoy this video please do guys leave a like and subscribe to my channel and if you guys could, don't mind please try to donate to the link down below the paypal link as it will always help me and i could make more videos and on this channel guys i hope you enjoyed it please do leave a like and subscribe and as always this is blank dot here signing out bye <laughs>